counting up to subtract. We can subtract by counting up. Counting up is like counting on with addition. We start at the subtrahen and count up to the minuend. So remember the first number is the minuend and subtraction and the second one is the subtrahen. So we start with the subtrahen and count up to the minuend. We start at the 9 and count up to the 13. So here we have some numbers coming up from 1 to 13. We start at the 9 and we hop and count up to the 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. When it's 4 hops, 13 minus 9 is 4. So we can try that. Here we've got a number line and it's going from 0 all the way up to 18. We can do 16 minus 7 by counting up. We find 7 on the number line and we count up to 16. Here's 7, so let's start here and count up to 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 16 minus 7 is 9. We have 14 minus 8. We start with the 8 and count up to the 14. We find the 8. It's right here. I'm going to count up to 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 14 minus 8 is 6. We can even do it on our fingers. We have 13 minus 6. We start with the 6 and count our fingers up to 13. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That was 7 fingers. So 13 minus 6 is 7. See, we started with this number, the subtrahend, and we counted up to the minuend. We can even do it if you look at a number line going horizontally from 0 to 18. If we have 7 minus 5, we start at the 5 and we count up to the 7 to find the difference. So we start at the 5 and count up to the 7. 5, 6, 7. And that was 2 hops, wasn't it? So 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, let's get rid of this. We can do 17 minus 9. We'll start at the 9 and we'll count up to 17. So here's the 9. We're going to count up to 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It was 8 hops, so 17 minus 9 is 8. See? So that's how you can use counting up to subtract. It's a lot like counting on, isn't it? But we go from the subtrahend to the minuend. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.